If there's one word for how you want your home to feel in fall and winter, it's cozy. Well, let's get some ideas on giving your rooms a fall feel. Nancy Clemmie from Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor is here to help us live comfortably. Yes. I mean, you always want a cozy home, but cozy just sounds like we want it to be like yes. warmer, maybe? It's nesting time. So yeah. nesting is the beginning. So the kids are back in school and you're going to be standing a little bit more in your home coming up come the winter. So just to kind of get that fall feel in the house. Yeah, and if you don't, I mean, a lot of people do like to decorate for Halloween or whatever, sure. but if you don't want to fill your house with pumpkins, yes, you could just, uh, I mean, it looks like you kind of changed, I mean, even, even this pop of little orange yeah. or rust or whatever color you'd like to call that. Yeah, just a little, just a little pops of colors. You don't have to go crazy for fall. The dry flowers. Yeah, the dry yeah. flowers. You can find a lot of things in your, in the ditches, which is nice. You've got the cattails. Wait a minute, you don't, I, I thought you were representing Lazy Boy, not, a, not a ditch. I know, <laughs> I am, but there's so much nature out there too, which I is beautiful. <laughs> so you want to bring in some, come and I'll help you with this, and I'll add a couple hot, you know, a couple cattails in there too. Okay, <laughs> yes, but you pour the beer because I'm bad at yes, it. Yes, yes. Anyway, uh, I like how this is uh, this wood is etched. That's, yes. That's a, that's a nice warm yeah, feel. Yeah, just natural, yeah. natural products, Yeah, for sure. And on um, the great pillows you have on the couch here. Yeah, so what I was going to say was your sofa right here is nice and blue. But just by adding some of these colors, this is fall. It, it does so fall it up. This one pattern right here pulls out so many different colors, and it has your blue in there. But it has your yellows. It has some nice textures here. Mm -hmm. And seriously, this okay, blanket. Okay, these kind of, uh, so maybe pull that bottom pillow so we can see it better, Nancy. This one? This kind of large cable knit mm -hmm. is so in right now. Yes, and we have it in multiple colors. And that one's a kind of a looser one, though, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. And what's nice is it's a, a self-healing. So if you do pull it out, it's easy just to kind of pull it back together again. Yeah. So is it, what's the name of those? Is there a name for those? They're, they're just the loose weave, wide loose weave. Yeah. yarn. I mean, some of them are, are softer and they're kind of more, you know, more compact. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So these are things you can do. But do you find that most of your clients or customers will say, I do want to change more yes. for as we get into the holiday yeah. season yep. for over Thanksgiving? I will be honest, majority of the homes right now are very neutral. And so just these little pops of color helps move you from season to season. An easy way to change yeah. things. Yeah, just simple little things. I even was thinking you can even paint like an accent wall when you first walk in, even if you just wanted to spruce it up just for a holiday time. Paint's cheap. Now, wait a minute. Somebody actually repaints just yes. for, a, just for a, a season? Yes. Just like wow. when you walk in, maybe it's your, like, even if it's your fireplace wall or whatever, it's what, not that what, much. What's a, what's a hot color palette that I'm looking at right now? What would you say? So if you're going to do like more of the fall tones, obviously you're going to be kind of more in the rusties. You can mm -hmm. do some of the earth tone colors, like the avocado greens and some of the um, reds. And Isn't everything still grayish? A lot of grayish. That's yep. why one little pop of color wouldn't be a bad idea. But So grayish, explain that. That's a cross between a gray and a Beige. Yep. Yeah, great. Yep. And, and there's so many colors. They're warm. There and is. Cools. Yeah. So you've got some that have like more of a blue undertone. There's a lot of undertones in your in your paint. So you just have to, I always tell people, look at the very bottom of the paint um, so deck there. So yeah. So you can see this is like more of a so, brown. So you look in the strip. Yep. So so start at the Yeah, look end? at the bottom. And then the you, bottom. And it works all the way up that it's going to be more of that brown tone. So the very, but that's the deepest yep. and then it just keeps fading yeah, out. Yeah. You can start with like more of a dark charcoal and then you walk, walk your way up and it's going to be more of a gray brown. Okay. Yeah. So, the, but the paint thing, how often do you think people, uh, painting sometimes seems like a pain. Yeah. It, but, it, but easy as far as other things it's, go. It can make a huge impact okay. in a room. You know, and I always try to, when I go to clients' homes, I, I have been asked many times to help them with their paint colors. Mm -hmm. And I like to play with people's architecture because there's some cool architecture out there in people's homes and everybody just paints in one solid color. So just to kind of play off of something, maybe they have, you know, a niche in their wall or maybe they have um, something that protrudes out over top of their entry or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a, a neat place to do that. Or maybe they have no focal point in their room whatsoever. Paint can be a focal point. Okay. So so you you don't like to see just one color, one no. or two colors yeah. throughout, throughout the home. And if you want the one color, just do different various of those of that tone. Okay. Oh, we're looking at some pictures here. So yep. these are some you, you mentioned a lot of neutral homes. Yep. And you can see a lot there's a lot of black and white and so there that's a way to bring in Modern some farmhouses, hot still, mm -hmm. um, nice clean lines, nice natural products. So this is just kind of popping a little bit of orange, you know, foliage in there. Those pumpkins were a little bit of the orange on the prior one. Mm -hmm. Natural woods. This is just football season, 
So mm -hmm. just to kind of show you how football season is coming and just the comfy coziness of that, you know, escaping on your tables. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, for their dining rooms, they don't use their dining rooms and it's kind of a collect all type place. I'm like, set your tables, mm -hmm. just set it all year round you know change up the the centerpieces make it look pretty year round instead of just piling up piling stuff on it and junk yeah on. <laughs> okay got it <laughs> a lazy boy home furnishings and decor uh right in davenport on elmore and uh locally owned yeah yeah two brothers we like to uh, we like to emphasize that because it's shop local and uh, shop support week so uh so it's always great to see you yes Nancy. you yes. too happy fall thank you